Hi everyone, JJIR here, and in this video we're going to see how to run a Python script using VS Code and by SSH on the EV3 brick that LEGO offers for Mindstorm. The first thing to take in consideration is that you should have seen my previous video on how to set up the EV3 with VS Code and SSH. If you have not seen that, you must see that first, otherwise this video will not be able to be taken advantage of. So here we have a repository where I've set up the basic things that you need to run the first Python script. But after you finish this, you can go straight to the official repository that explains all about EV3 dev, and you can start learning all the methods that you can use to program the EV3 brick. So the first thing we're going to do is open up VS Code. And here we're going to add a new folder. You can click on Explorer here to start out that up. And then we're going to click on no folder opened and then open folder. I am on a Chromebook, that's why it looks like this. And I'm gonna click on home and then click on the upper right hand, create folder. Then put EV3, then click create. And then in the lower right hand corner, click okay. After we're done with this, we're going to go directly here to where it says new file. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna put motor test.py, enter. And then we're gonna go to here to the repository and click on motor test.py. We're going to select this text, control C, go back, control V, and then control S. It's very important that you have this first line up here. After done with that, we're gonna to go to manage, settings, and we're going to click on workspace. Very important to click there first. And then we're gonna go up here and click on the icon which says open settings JSON. This opens up a new hidden subfolder in this EV3 folder. We have a settings JSON file. We'll go back to the repository, click on EV3, click on VS Code, click on settings, and we're going to copy this here, Control C, go back. You can delete these two brackets, and then Control V, Control S. These two lines are very important in order to run the code we want on the EV3. Then here, we're gonna click on Again, new file, and we're going to put launch dot JSON, enter. And this is going to be within this folder. It won't be in the outside one. It'll be right next to the settings one. We're going to go back to the repository, VS Code, launch dot JSON, and then select this here, control C, Go back, control V, and then control S. Now, the only thing that I suggest you change is this part here. For some reason, in some instances, this does not work. What this is supposed to do is whatever file that we have here that we want to run, once we click on it and run it, this should automatically choose that file. But in practice, it hasn't been working. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete that, and then we're going to put motor test.py to make sure that the launcher knows exactly what we want to run, which is this right here. After that, we're going to click on Control S, and those things are now set up. It's important to follow the steps that I gave you right now, because otherwise, if you try to do them in a different order, sometimes errors arise. Now that we have this set up to go, then we go down here to our EV3 dev device browser, which we explained in the previous video. We're gonna click here, and then we're gonna click on the EV3 test, which was the EV3 that we're going to use. It's in yellow, and, and briefly, it will turn green. Now that it's turned green, the only thing that we have to do now is go up here to the Python file, click on that, then go up here to debug, it's very important that it's under debug. And then you can either click on F5, I'm sorry, click on F5 here, or click on start debugging. Here we're gonna click on start debugging. 
As soon as we do that, it's sending the Python file, it's downloading it to the EB3, and we'll start running it, and the motor begins to run. So we can see this a little graphically. What we're going to do is we're going to rerun this now by looking at the EV3 in a little video here in the corner. So as you can see, we have the EV3 here, and we have connected to the EV3 a cable in port A here, and the other, the other side, end of the cable is connected to the motor here. This would be the large motor in this case. And that's all we have to do here for the EV3 to make sure that it's set up and ready to go beforehand, as well as having it connected to the Wi-Fi and to VS code as we saw in the previous video. So as you can see, while we have this in hand, if we go back up here and we click on our file again and then go to debug and then click on start debugging, as you can see, it's going to re-download that to the EV3 and it's going to rerun it. It takes a few seconds, and then afterwards, the motor begins to run, as you can see. Good, now that we've seen how to do this in VS Code, let's go this by SSH. So we'll go back here, open up our Ubuntu container that we have here on the Chromebook, and we're going to SSH. We're gonna click on Enter to enter into the robot itself. We put maker, enter. This will allow us to go into the EV3. We are now there. We're going to click on, we're going to type clear. Now that we have that ready to go, the only thing that we need to do is actually run the script itself. So we're going to use Vim for this to create the Python script. We're going to go click on Vim, and then we're going to put motor, test.py, enter. Once we're there, we're gonna click on I for insert. We will go back to where we were before. We'll click on EV3. And then we'll go here to motor test. We will select the text here, control C. Go back over to the robot here, control shift V to add the text here. And then we're gonna click on escape and then colon and then X to write that. In order for us to be able to run this, we have to put CH mode plus X. And then we're going to put the title of the script that we want to run. To autocomplete the name of the script, all you do is click on MO and then tab, it will add the rest if there's no other file that's named the same within that folder. We will click on enter here. It will tell us that that is ready to go. And then finally, we just add Python three space and then the name again of the Python script. We click on enter and that will also run exactly the same as we saw in VS Code. And so the motor has finished running. And that actually finishes the whole process here. So as you can see, it's much simpler using SSH than in VS Code, because given the fact we're already inside of the robot, we don't have to pair certain things beforehand so that the robot understands that it needs to do something. So in this case, we're actually directly putting the file within the EV3, whereas in VS Code, after we program it, we have to download it and then run it. So here we're actually cutting out a few steps in the process in order to run it faster. So this is the introduction of how to begin to run these things here on the EV3. And what we'll do in later videos is to explain more complex coding that we can do with the EV3 to run other sensors and motors that we can use with the EV3. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please put a thumbs up and subscribe. And if there's anything else, please let me know. Take care.